Hello, 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 it is Ali Atona and I am back to play some Sims. All right, so today is a fun time because I decided that I wanted to make my life super hard and play the game base game only. So you may have seen I did a base game cast with my girl Ariella and this is where Ariella lives. She lives in this base game starter home that I built in Willow Creek. It's on that bargain bend lot that's kind of awkward where like it looks like the wide half should be the front, but it's actually the skinnier half. I always have to like go in the gallery lot and check what <laughs> where it's supposed to be before I build my front of my lot. I made that mistake. I made I built a restaurant here once and it was just embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm building my my house here it's obviously base game as I mentioned but the other kicker is that it is starter home budget so I decided I would make this even harder for myself and I actually just kept the budget with whatever she was given so I think it was 2,000 simoleons for the lot so she only had like 22,000 or, or no 20,000 or something or something like that left I think it ends up at again ending up being around 18 Oh, just shy of 19,000 simoleons at the end, cost-wise. But yeah, so obviously trying to find something in base game only is very difficult, but I really love the medium wall height doors that they have here. Um, I also was thinking I would make it green, and I realized that you're probably very confused because the title of this is Blue Starter Home. And yes, I changed my mind and made it blue at the end. Um, Yes. So pretend for most of this time that it's going to become blue. But you'll see, this is like what happens when you build a starter home. Like you have all these majestic dreams and you're trying to make this like two bedroom, two bathroom place that's so spacious and all this stuff. And then, and then reality sets in and you're like, oh, yeah, I can't afford that. <laughs> and then you have to kind of scale. So I'll talk through that whole process when that we get here. But Basically, whenever I want to build a starter home, the first thing I want to do is build my bathroom. I want to make sure I have a bathroom, and in this case, I wanted Ariella to have a bathtub as well as a shower. Um, you know, wanted to make it a little bit more um, fancy for her, you know? Um, but otherwise, like, I made the bathroom very, very simple. I actually did the bathroom first, don't typically do it but that way, but you know, we try. Now, I realized that I probably put extra countertops in here that I didn't necessarily need, but such is life. So, obviously, lighting, I tried to, like, limit it to, like, one pot light per room, which was very difficult for me sometimes because I, I like spacing them out now and making them actually look nice, but budget times... So, the other thing, I used a lot of platforms in this build because I made the medium, the medium wall height to try and give us a little bit more oomph and the platforms kind of help give a little bit more like separation in the spaces so I made like the front area here the living room space uh, this is where you hang out with a book and you get a chair you know chilling um, I couldn't afford a TV yet but as Ariella gets more money and does better in her career or careers uh, whatever that ends up being um, we'll get more you know <laughs> So anyway, this back area, I wanted to make it like an even kind of kitchen area, but then I realized that doesn't really make sense. So you'll see when I shrink the house, it makes a lot more sense. Um, but trying to also get a kitchen together, I really wish we had better fridge options that were cheaper, but we don't. So, you know, and I thought, you know, ambitiously that I could own an island. And as you can see, I'm down to 1,700 simoleons. I haven't even for, put um, flooring down. And that's probably what I've realized here at this point. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? We're shrinking. The kitchen's smaller now. Um, that's how we're going to sort of do it. And we kind of decided, I or I decided, that I'd make a smaller sort of kitchen space here with that wall. And with the separation, it kind of helps. And so begins the shrinking of the house. <laughs> so right now we have two bedrooms. Um, clearly that's not something that's doable right now. So we're moving that and creating a one bedroom instead. Uh, it's just too, too much, you know. Um, can't Just can't fit it. Just can't fit it. But I tried. <laughs> so really wish that there were better 
uh, bed options that were cheaper as well. Uh, that's something that I would appreciate, but that's fine. I'm also very into this light wood. I'm happy they added more swatches of that one, truly. Oh, look at that, getting so much more money. Yeah, I don't know what I was trying to do here with the roof. Um, that was just weird. <laughs> Sometimes roofing in The Sims 4 is hard, guys. I don't know what to say. Anyway, all I can say is that building a house with just the base game is not my cup of tea. Um, I need more than that myself, personally. Um, I don't like the column options. I don't like the flooring as much as others, for especially tiling. Um, I don't really like the brick options. Um, I ended up going with this weird base game um, swatch. I've never really used these before, like the the paneling mixed with the brick. Um, not something I typically do because I typically have like a patio, so or it looks weird, like a, or like a foundation, so it kind of looks funny. But when you're using the platforms, it's not as bad, so I can kind of like mix and match them. But Originally, like I said, this house was green. You'll see I go through a whole phase of I'm just going to change this to all blue. But before we do that, we don't have a lot of money and I need to find a way to make more of it <laughs> available to me because I need to finish painting the house. I need to get all of the um, uh, garbage and all of that stuff put together. Pretty sure I still have the mailbox. I think I kept that. Um, but don't worry about the landscaping it will be all debug, so that's not my concern. But I decided I, I was gonna do tile on the kitchen and, and the downstairs area because we have that separation, I'm like able to get away with that. So kind of a little bit of a mix up when you go into the kitchen area. And then I did put a backsplash um, and put columns to sort of like cap them out. It looks a lot better in my opinion that way. As much as it is, it is a cost, I think it's a cost that is worth it. So yeah, I was trying to see if there was a way to make this table work. I ended up actually, I think, choosing a different type of table because it just wasn't going to happen with the size of the house. Um, again, not enough money. So I'm shrinking down the house. As you can see, it's getting much smaller. Um, reality sets in. It's so unfortunate, you know, like I think if I had like not just base game if it was like eco lifestyle or something in there i'd be better because there's a lot the the houses or the windows are a lot cheaper um i can get cheap like plants and stuff to like put things around the house and decorate uh cheap curtains all of that so i i mean it does help to sometimes to include the packs at least one because you can at least have some cheaper options like base game isn't that cheap and maybe that's part of the problem like maybe we need to have more cheaper base game options for everybody because if you're expected to be able to just play with the base game I mean but that's not the expectation they want you to be playing or buying DLC right so I mean it's kind of hard to argue that though I mean they are a company so <sighs> I guess my point is it would be nice if there were some cheaper window options and stuff like that for the base game but it's also maybe making content like the kits and, and the stuff packs and stuff a little bit more cheap as well in terms of like buying it in game because I've noticed that decor to the max for example is kind of expensive may it makes sense it's maximalistic maybe that's the cost um I didn't get the industrial one but blooming rooms kit there, there's quite a lot of expense to it you know so I don't know I don't know what the trade-off is here so I did start making some changes, you know, um, I switched the toilet out to a cheaper option. Um, I have a cheap bed right now. Uh, I'm getting minimal curtains so I can have some decoration, but not too, too much. And honestly, like, it's hard with this, with this um, type of build too, because the blue, I really like the blue. We have a lot of blue everywhere, by the way. This is a very blue build. But... I feel like there's not really any other colors for me to like use. I guess I could go like more like purple or pink for her room. Mm, I don't know. But it's just hard to like, for example, these mirrors. I like those mirrors. I wish there was like one big one that I could use. Like in Seasons, like they have one there. But base game doesn't have it. So it's like you have to kind of deal with things, make things work, <laughs> which is difficult for sure. Um, 
but you know, what can you do? Like I said, this is a very, this is a starter home. It has everything you need. There's literally, there's garbage can, mailbox, bed, shower, toilet, fridge, oven. You will survive as long as you start getting a job and can pay for food and stuff. But I'm just saying, like, you can survive in this house. So um, it's definitely worth it. Ah, here is the transformation. We are at the blue transformation. I'm blue. Da -da -dee -da -da -da. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I just, I, I wasn't feeling the green anymore. I wanted the blue instead. I just wasn't feeling it. Wasn't feeling it. It's okay. Sometimes it won't, it doesn't happen. I will do like a greenhouse with like eco lifestyle. I think that would be better. I want to do like a green and like brown, like a very like earthy kind of place. Maybe it can be like a rental property, like earthy rental, you know, lots of options. Add to my list of things I have to build. Good Lord. I have so much to do. I'm not even kidding. Okay. So also did not have a lot of money for carpet, but I'm glad I could afford it. And also I'm glad I could afford the books. Um, cause at least you can get like fun out of that. You can read those books that are on that shelf. Um, if you're going to have only like $2 to your name, you have to make it work. <laughs> so this is where I was like, okay, you know what? Three, three chair table is what, what we're getting. <laughs> I'm going to make it a little bit different. Um, and you know, I ended up with 82 smolies. I think I ended up with like 18 to spare or something. So yeah, I was able to put like some paintings or artwork, but definitely stuff that we're going to have to add as she gets more money as she works through her job. Oh yeah. That was a very scary moment. Um, where it just paused there. My game was like paused and I was so scared. I thought it was going to crash. And I was freaking out because I'm like, no, 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 no. I just spent the last hour and a bit building this base game home. And I will be so pissed off if I have to start it over again. Please no. And I literally just like stopped. And then all of a sudden the save thing came up. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was such a scary moment. All right. So we're in debug now and I'm deciding on what I want to actually do for my debug landscaping. So I did want to put like a little fence and I was thinking, you know, like a nice brick wall sort of situation could be nice. And so I found this one in debug. I'm not sure where it's from. I think it might be from Oasis Springs, actually. I don't really know, but we're using it in Willow Creek. Um, so whether it belongs here or not is not my problem. So instead of making a fenced yard that's going to cost me, I used a debug yard and did it this way. So you can walk in through the front and there's no stopping you, um, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine for now. Um, and debug landscaping is easy in the base game, in my opinion, because you, when you have all the packs, it gets overwhelming with debug. I'll typically, like if I'm in a certain world, I'll filter on whatever pack comes with that world. So if I'm in base game, I'll filter on just base game. And it, it does make my life a lot easier sometimes finding some stuff that matches better for the environment. I also wanted to make sure while I was placing all of these that we weren't getting any, um, any glitchy glitches into these um, into the house. Um, I think we're okay just because we have the counters in the kitchen to kind of block things, which is helpful. Um, and then we have this lovely tree in the backyard um, lined with the flowers, low laying flowers. And I did end up making a pond. <laughs> I love ponds. Look, if I'm going to be base game only, I might as well make myself a pond for my backyard, you know, do a little bit of something to make it more inviting in the back. Eventually, too, I'm hoping she'll get enough money to get a barbecue, maybe put some tea, like a set back there to sit back in the table and, and hang out. Um, this house, I'm hoping she'll stay in for a little bit. Um, I'm hoping she just doesn't get pregnant. I don't have to worry about that because that is not what I want to do. Worst case scenario, I can just add on top and make a second floor. Um, so I can do that. There's things. That's one thing, at least in this build, I did accept was that I was not going to get a second story. There have been times when I've tried to start her home and I'm like, oh, I can totally make a second story. Let's get stairs. And it's like, no, unless it's a tiny home and it's like a loft, it's not happening. It's you're not going to afford it. <laughs> so here we are. We're going to jump into the tour now, which is super exciting. Uh, all done with our landscaping. I think it looks fantastic. A lot of curb appeal when you walk up, considering it is a starter home, you know? 
but very cute. So we come into the blue doors and we come into the blue area in here. Lots of blue, like I said, it's a blue starter home. What do you want? Um, so this is like the little lobby or lobby foyer, I guess, for like walk-in area. And then you walk over to the living room. Um, you have the front view area, your front window there to see at the front and see who's walking by. Lots of fun people live in this neighborhood, so you never know. And then the kitchen, dining room area here, very simple, straightforward, just basics for now, but you definitely will add to it as she gets more money um, in the Space Dream Challenge I'm playing. And then here's our backyard. It looks really weird right now because the roof is glitching, but this is the backyard. I do really like the pond, and then you have the swans right beside it with the river view. Oh, I love that I got the sun in this screenshot. Oh, look at that. Sometimes playing with lighting is worth it. Also, the columns were definitely worth the price. Uh, eventually, I want to get um, like trim to go around the outsides there of the roof, but we'll get there. I also have an outside light there. Um, I left a pot light outside. So if I eventually put a barbecue and area, everything there, that's a good spot. That's a very big window there in the front. But anyway, here is the bathroom. So the first door when you basically go in down that little step is the bathroom. I love it, the black and white. I think it looks great. And then here is the bedroom. Very blue, again, like I said. Uh, you do have a dresser though, so hey, you know. It's more than most Sims can say in a double bed. I mean, having a double bed is a big deal, I think. So, you know, I really like this house a lot. Um, I put it up on the gallery. It's called the Base Game Blue, St or Base Blue Starter Home. So feel free to download it um, and play in your own base game and see how it goes. If you want to try base game challenge, check out mine. Um, I'm just playing it as I do, but I hope you enjoy. I'll see you later, okay? Bye.